We know we've got the uh, Sons of Legends showdown coming up in a couple of weeks, Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben. Uh, you weren't overly impressed or taken with the fight when it was first announced. Have you come around to it at all? Has the hype kind of grabbed you? It's, it, 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 there's a lot of hype. And I'm sure these two guys, I know these two guys will be training their balls off. There's no doubt about that. It is competitive. What, I, what, you, what, I, what I'm not going to buy into is that I look at two fighters. I look at uh, one who, we, who keeps being referred to as a prospect who's 33 years of age and never done it at a high level. Every time he stepped up, he's he's fallen short. And we look at Nigel's Nigel's son, Connor, who's done extremely well. But you look at his record, he's not. there's no one on his resume that you would say is a quality fighter. And in my opinion, I don't think they're the best in their respective weight divisions in this country. But I get all the hype, understand everybody buying into it. And they will buy into this big, the public, because... That's what it is. We're in this sort of era where people look at the, not so much the substance of of the, I suppose in their case of of this, you know, the rivalry of the past, they are buying to that like they do with these YouTubers, like the YouTube fights. They don't, for me, don't buy into, you know, what what you would say is this is the best at this level because it's not. It's not. It'd be competitive. It'd be very competitive. Um, I don't know what's going on. I know the old man, old man Eubank's been, I think, making some quite, quite for a change for me. He's been making some quite relevant remarks about this uh, weight uh, situation because that is dangerous. You know, the biggest problem for boxers' injuries, head injuries, is all about dehydration. Mm. And I'm quite sure that Tony Sims and that side will do everything they can for their man. Because if I was in their position, I would do the same thing. And he's a guy who's coming up in weight and I'm sure he's going to bulk up and he's going to put, he's going to look the part and build himself up for the fight. The other guy at the age now of 33 having to weigh in, was it three or four pounds under the three three pounds under? That's a lot of weight to shift at that. And I don't know what the, I don't know what the situation is, what he can weigh the next day. But that to me is quite dangerous and it's, it is difficult, I don't care who you are, especially as you get older, to do those sort of things. And, and his dad's pointed it out quite rightly. And that's up to the border control to monitor and they got, they've got a big responsibility because the eyes of you know of everyone will be on this and, you know, uh, and hopefully it will all go well. But I'll watch it because I watch all fights, so I'll watch it. And uh, no doubt about that. But I'm watching what it is, not what I'm being sold, what it is.